Okay, g'day guys. Uh, I thought I'd quickly give you a rundown of, of what we have been doing with Pluspec. Um, this is a model that we drew up. It's a modular building. Uh, it's in a reasonably famous spot in Sydney. I'm um, just showing you through some scenes of the model at the moment. This has all been drawn with Pluspec and Ruby Sketch. Um, there's a couple of views here where you can actually see what this is getting built from. Um, all the information inside of the model is there for estimating and takeoff 2D plans which can all be exported to layout very quickly. We usually annotate the drawing in in layout or, or you could do it in CAD as well um, but it's a really good way to communicate across architects, clients, engineers um, you know, we can get right into details and how the air conditioning ducts are going to go and you know, what type of purlins they're going to use you know, how the building will look completed or how the building will look when it goes onto a truck connection details of how we're going to put it together what we sit it on things that we need the engineer to have a look at uh, and certify. Uh, we put notes in for the engineer to comment what will be constructed on top of the steel beams. All of these are configurable everything inside the model um, can be changed around. It's all I guess dynamic for lack of a better word. You know, how we plan on joining things together <coughs> box gutter and other connection details. Now that's great for visual but uh, you know we all know that when it comes to construction we need to have an indication of what this kind of thing would cost um, so it's as simple as clicking the takeoff button and this is creating a live takeoff you don't need you to take off of what I was actually showing you on the screen so therefore you don't have to you know, if you only want to estimate what's what's there, well then we've got our timber studs, our floor joists, external works, um, and other bits and pieces. If I get out of this and I do another takeoff, but I turn everything on, so we go to all. <coughs> now, if I do a takeoff, it'll estimate everything that you're looking at. So you get to have it real time, so you notice how much more information is here now. So you know, external works, flashings, swinging doors, um, hardware, right down, even down to the amount of screws that are required, architraves, how many lengths of architraves, how many hinges we need. There's a whole heap of information there that makes it very easy <coughs> for the builder to be able to do a bill of quantities. Uh, it makes it easy for the engineer to be able to specify products it makes it very easy for the client to understand how it's going to look and it makes it easy for, to communicate with the trades on site this model size is about six megabytes uh, it can be emailed over to a laptop very easily and everything inside of the, the building can be modified <coughs> very quickly um, wall heights can be changed, you know, doors can be moved things are dynamic so they open and close um, there's information, BIM information inside of the model as well so if I went in and I wanted to look at that toilet and I wanted to know what type of toilet was coming from Ruby Sketch it allows me to <coughs> uh, this is also SketchUp free that I'm using you know, find out more about the toilets more about the details of what it is that we're going to put into the model um, it makes it <coughs> Now a whole lot of information very easy to find um, so you'll know that notice that clicking on here we've got all the information about the products we've got the wall information now let's go back to the frame and we've got the heights of the sizes of the heads <coughs> which can all be changed timber sizes. This is all metric um, 
it, uh, we also have a Imperial version which we're working on now and working hard to get it to you guys very very shortly so I hope it um, explains a little bit more about uh, what we do everything is layered everything is sorted out in a way that everyone can communicate with uh, it makes integrated project delivery um, a very simple task. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.